was a team effort. The guys did a great job, and uh, you know I was proud of the guys. What do you think of Clarkson so far? I think Clarkson has great explosiveness going to the basket. He has a, a tremendous pull-up jumper, but the thing about uh, Jordan Clarkson is that he's always in the right place at the right time, and we saw that on the tip-in with you know .5 seconds left. He was there. He tipped it in. It was a soft, soft touch tip-in, and uh, that got us the win. Mark, didn't you draw that up on the clipboard and in the tip-in? I, I wish you could draw something like that up, but uh, that's just a, a great player making a great basketball play and Jordan Clarkson. Hey, you can tell Randall kind of got increasingly into the game as it went on, and it, we've heard a lot about his competitive spirit. What have you seen from him, and how did that play out in today's game? You know, if I was a big trying to guard Julius Randall, I mean, he's, he's very difficult to guard because he's so good with the ball. He, he has the skills of a point guard. In, in the frame and the body size of a 6'9", 250-pound man. And obviously, he's still working his way back into shape. He hasn't played in months, basically. Well, and, and Julius couldn't play for a long time because the contract situation was such that, you know, they were looking at some free agents, and so with the contract situation as it was, he couldn't play contact. But he did everything else he could, learning the plays, you know, doing extra mental reps, watching every single practice from the side. Uh, so he kept himself sharp that way mentally. Mark, I know you played with him one-on-one -on -one in, his, in his actual workouts. Did you start to see some of that mentality that started to come out more in the second half? We saw him getting angry and misses, really battling. Yeah, I mean, I know what it's like to, to sit there and try to, you know, to try to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. You can't. You can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what we saw tonight. Julius is a matchup nightmare for people. And he played well tonight. And Julius has to continue to work. But you saw a competitive spirit. You saw a guy that's worked very hard on his skills, and he, he did a nice job. Mark, you mentioned the point guard skill set he has. When he takes a long rebound, coast to coast, tries to go behind his back, I mean, what are you telling him? I know obviously he wants to show his versatility, but yeah. you've reined in that stuff? Or? Dave, I think that's something that, that you do. You show it to Julius on tape the, ne the next day. I didn't want to take away his aggressiveness out there um, in terms of just allowing him to attack. Before the game, we talked about, hey, we put the whole game plan up. You can follow the game plan to the T, but ultimately, we just want them to be aggressive. So I'd rather have an error, like Wooden used to say, an error of commission rather than an error of omission.